Tom, and uh, I've got a very special guest, and I've always promised that I'd bring special guests. This one's particularly special. And, uh, Ron, you probably don't know this, but I used to work at a place called Red Creek in oh, in Rochester, and you used to play there, uh, I believe, with Jeff Costco back oh, in the yeah, day. Oh, yeah, Cheater. Cheater yeah. days, yeah. Not a whole lot, but I always, Red, Red Creek always in, intrigued me. Was, uh, I played there maybe my whole life, maybe two or three times, but uh, I was with Cheater. Yeah, no doubt. And, um, you know, the big Cheater song I remember was Ten Cent Love Affair. That was uh, it's a great song, and they had a little, uh, little, I think it wasn't even a full 12-inch record that came out for you guys, but you were sort of on the cusp there, Cheater. I felt like you were on the brink of breaking it. Yeah, they were. I mean, I joined Cheater. They were going before me, and I was the last guy. I was, uh, <laughs> I was supposed to go off to New York City and play with Gracie Slick from Jefferson Starship, wow. and it fell through. Oh, really? I, Cheater knew I was only staying for four months, but when the Gracie Slick gig fell through through the engineer, uh, I ended up staying with Cheater. And um, just to give you a little insight on Tencent Love Affair, I can tell you one night in particular, played at Uncle Sam's on Walden Avenue, RCA Records came out to see the uh, band and they wanted Tencent Love Affair. Somebody had mentioned we had released it on Amherst Records and they walked right back out. Wow. So now you know the, the rest of the story. Yeah, now I know the rest of the story. Yeah, I had, uh, I saw Jeff, I don't know, two or three years ago, he did an acoustic show at a place that I booked the artist for and just a really nice guy. Are you, you're a you're a Buffalo guy though, right? Are you you're from out this way? Rochester. Oh, you are Rochester. Rochester. I moved here probably when I was 26 years old. I'm 800 years old now. Uh, and uh, so I, I've been here for a long time, but uh, I'm originally a Rochester guy, Okay. but feel more like a Buffalo guy these days. Well, you're Buffalo Music Hall of Fame inductee, correct? Yes. And, and 1986, I think, or 84 or something like that. So what, uh, what brought you into the <coughs> Buffalo Music Hall of Fame? What was, their, uh, what was the acts there? I don't really, uh, it would have been Cheater, I think. Um, but I didn't play Buffalo that much that year. Yeah. It was kind of strange. I, it really came out of left field because I didn't see it coming. And uh, myself and Stan Kalish were the only two inducted that year. And that's back, yeah. And, um, he was a great performer and a great musician, and, and he's gone. So mm. I'm holding down the fort. Well, and, and another band <coughs> that, uh, of course, we got to talk about is uh, Black Sheep. Of course, that was uh, Lou Graham's first band. or Well, I don't think it was his first. He might have had some other ones. I'm not entirely familiar with Lou's early, early career. But they uh, they were kind of on the break, too. And then it just things just sort of fell apart, I guess. Well, after um, I was out of the band, and they actually hired one of my students on drums, they had flipped their truck over one New Year's Eve. I said, I remember it, and lost all their equipment. And at that time, Mick Jones had mentioned, from Foreigner had mentioned it to the agent or the manager. Um, they had managed, uh, they had mentioned something in the community audition, and that's how the foreigner thing started. And uh, the funny thing about Lou Graham that a lot of people don't know, and I'm really happy that you're putting this on, on uh, record, is um, Lou was a great drummer. He was a very good drummer. Yep. And a lot of people don't know that. He was the drummer in Black Sheep. He started coming to see me. He was in the fourth grade. I was in the, he was in the sixth grade. I was in the fourth grade. So I'm playing the Star Spangled Banner on that chrome snare drum. Mm -hmm. That's how my career started. Um, and then later on, about senior year in high school, he started coming to my gigs and thumb up and smiling and all that. I couldn't figure out why he was being so nice as another drummer. Sometimes drummers can be catty. And, uh, <laughs> my son's a drummer. I and he was really nice and smiles and turned out he was looking for a drummer to take his place so that he could go out front and become a lead singer. A lot of people don't know that story and I think it's kind of cool to get it out there. Yeah, no, it's interesting. I interviewed... Um Steve Haggard not too long ago, and it was funny when I guess when they were originally looking at Phil Collins and Genesis as the lead singer, the first thing people told them is that drummers don't look good singing, so they always have to kind of figure out a way to get them out front. So that's a fascinating story we don't about know Black Sheep. We don't know what to do with our hands. We come out there. And we don't know what to do. <laughs> Three doors down, you know, that was a lead a drummer that went to be a lead singer as well. So there's definitely some history. So uh, Art of Beer, I mean, how did you wind up here? This is a great event. I come to it every year and. I know that all the bands here volunteer their time, and you know, as my son being in a band, they get asked to do a lot of shows. So, why would you pick this one? And, and what do you know about the organization, the Niagara Arts and Cultural Center? To be honest with you, um, my my, my bass player Joe Zarillo mm -hmm. was the one that put this together for the band. He approached us, so we didn't even know really. We knew it was a benefit for Niagara County, but we didn't know exactly what. But we tried to say yes a few times a year wanted to get to be in it and do it. And so we all said yes before we really dug into it. Turns out my wife's with the Sheriff's Department 
and she said it was a real big event. That's when I started finding out more about it. So, great cause, and we're glad, glad to be part of it. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Um, again, Ron Rocco, Buffalo Music Hall of Fame inductee, former member of Cheater, former member of Black Sheep, but most importantly, he's, he's just he's Ron Rocco. He's the guy that's been around a long time. We always love hearing you drumming. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, no worries at all, man. Thanks so much. I'm glad we finally got a chance to connect. Okay.